guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a journal with me video i want to start off with a little haul from the dollar tree my dollar tree here used to be like really bad it was a mess they were understaffed but now it's a lot better and we have better stuff so i picked up a few stickers while i was there so there's these alphabet stickers with like the animal print i thought that was really fun and then I got these. I already used them, and I'll show you that in a bit in my journal. I thought they were pretty. And then these alphabet stickers. These are really fun, and they'll be nice to like put my name in my journals with. I already used some of these, but they are feather decals. They show them on a laptop, but I just put them in my journal, and I thought they were really cute. And then I just got these emoji stickers because I thought they were fun. I have so many different emoji ones, but they're always good to have. Then at Target, I've been wanting these for a while and I finally picked them up, but they're the Zebra Mild Liners. So today I'm gonna swatch them on camera with you guys as a spread in my journal. So the journal I'm currently working in is this little Peter Popper press. It's not that big in comparison to my hand, as you can see. So it shouldn't really take me that long. That's how far I'm in so far. And then I just want to show you the inside cover as a little preview. So you can see I wrote my name with the alphabet stickers. And I'm going to add more. That's a little picture from the Oscars with Freddie Mercury. My sprocket accidentally printed another one. I already had one of these, so I just decided to stick it into my journal instead of just throwing it out. So we're gonna start with this page. I'm just gonna need to get something as like a paperweight. And I'm going to start off by stamping Zebra Mild Liners with these stamps. These are from Michaels, and I think this ink is from Michaels too. I love using stamps in my journal because it's a nice way to change things up instead of handwriting things. So it's raining right now. I apologize if you can hear the rain on my roof. So I'm going to start swatching them now. They're such pretty colors. I love them. I hope that the ink is pretty as well. And I hope that it doesn't bleed through my pages. Um, I've seen a lot of bullet journal people use these. And I'm probably also going to use them for schoolwork as well since it is the highlighter. So I'm going to start off with this color. I don't think they're labeled with, oh yeah, just red. So, um, interesting. It's a very, oh, it's a chisel, that's why. That's pretty. It looks more pink than red, but it's still pretty. So we're just gonna label it as red. This is very hard to write because my phone tripod is right in front of me. I finally got a tripod, guys. So let's move on to the next color. Oh yeah, they're also double-ended. So this comes off and then you just have like a marker kind of a thing there, which is pretty cool. I don't think a lot of people know that they're dual-ended. I see it always. I always see posts about it in my Facebook groups. Like, I didn't know they were double-ended. Meanwhile, it says double-ended. So this next one is vermilion, I think. Is that how you say it? So gotta remember that they're chiseled. And that's nice. Vermilion? Normally my handwriting doesn't look like that. I'm just trying to go around the tripod. Next we have orange. I like this one. It's a nice 
peachy tone to it. Oh, that looks bright. Oh, that's interesting. There's a close-up of it. It doesn't really look orange. I thought it was gonna be more peachy, you know? Next we have gold. That's what the chisel looks like. And then, that's good. Now that looks like gold. Next we have yellow. I'm guessing this one is going to be more like neon. Yeah, so that's neon. Yeah, it looks like a traditional yellow highlighter. Next we have green. Darker. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I like that. I don't really like traditional highlighters. I like pastel colors. And I was using my Tombow's as highlighters for a while, but they kind of bleed through the paper. And in a second, I'm going to look and see if it bled through. Then we have this one, which is smoke blue. Oh, I like that blue. And we have this pretty blue, which is just blue. I like that blue. It's more like a baby blue. So blue. And then we have my favorite one. This one's so pretty. It is blue green. Let me just see what this one looks like. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna be using this one a lot. And then I also like this one as well. One of my favorite colors, it's dark blue. Kinda looks purpley. Pretty. Then we have Violet. That's pretty too. Next is magenta. And then pink. Oh, that's gonna be neon for sure. Let's put this here. Then the next two are just some neutral ones. So gray. Then the last one is brown. Never had a brown highlighter. And let's put that here. I would show you if it bled through, but I have writing on the back and I just don't want to to see that but i can assure you it did not bleed through the peter popper press journal there's no ghosting either so i'm just going to show you an overview of the page with all the colors if you're interested in buying it i'm really excited about these zebra mild liners they were i want to say 16 dollars which is a bit pricey but i'm going to be using them for other things besides journaling like i said for school so hopefully they come to good use 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like like product reviews or are interested in seeing other supplies that I use, please let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas for videos because I love making them. It's just a nice hobby to have. As you can tell, I've been really I've been in a kick with making videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.